Going off with our top story this afternoon, looking at Parliament that is scheduled to resume plenary seatings this afternoon with after a two weeks break. Lined up business will be likely to see the MPs take a decision on the Petroleum Supply Amendment Bill 2023, which seeks to give the Uganda National Oil Company the monopoly of supplying petroleum products. This will be alongside another contracted monopoly, Vital. Bahrain, which shall source the products from the refineries of direct supply to UNOC. Take a look. That uh, no such response is available. A situation we find um, very disturbing that the regime up to now remains obstinate. Very obstinate, very arrogant. I have had the regime minister for information speaking at their media center, stating that there's nothing comprehensive they can state. We want to inform him and his cohorts that we have something comprehensive to do, and we shall do it. And we don't need his permission. So currently, we want to inform the world that we are still out of these plenary sittings, until such a time that we have received a satisfactory response on the issues we raised. All the issues we raised are with us. The missing persons have been profiled and their families. The shameless Human Rights Commission claiming that they don't exist, I think is now in their bunker hiding. So we continue to say we are not going to be part of the plenary sittings until the executive answers to our demands. We continue to inform the country that uh, our members shall still go to their committees because we do not have any problem with the committees. The committees are our own, but we are boycotting the executive from the plenary because they are answerable. They must answer, they must respond to the issues we have raised. And you see, this speaks to the reluctance and the lousiness of the executive. You recollect, two months ago, I presented to the House over 50 issues for which members had asked questions and the executive is non-responsive. I think clearly the executive collapsed a long time ago, and therefore their inability to respond is not for lack of information. I think it's a capacity issue from their side. They need to go and raise their capacity. The competence levels from the executive are very worrying, and the country must be concerned that this kind of lousy people are in charge of the country. We must be concerned. This lousiness should not be tolerated. We must question their wisdom and choice to act lousily on matters of human rights, and the matters that are compelling for which they must account. I thank you.